Hey guys, we are currently in Lombok in Indonesia and I wanted to do my November favourites. I'm sat outside, we are in staying in these like hut things. I also have a dog friend. Hey buddy, you okay? I'm not touching her, she's just sleeping. She's one of the strays around here. Um, she's a little bit beaten up but like I said, I'm not touching her, she's just sleeping on one of our chairs and I'm not getting rid of it. She has a hard enough life as it is. I have split it up into themes and I am going to start with books. Um, so my most recent book that I've read is this one. It's one of those great finds that you find in a hotel room and someone's just left the book behind and I will probably do this with this book now I've finished it. That's not true. Gethin is now reading this. Um, it's called A Million Little Pieces by James Bray and it's supposed to be a memoir but there's a lot of controversy around it. It was the second best best selling book of 2005 Whatever, it reads like a fiction book, that's fine with me. It's about his life in rehab and like drug addiction and things like that. It's very, very good. The second book I have is a book I actually found in a toilet and then left in a hotel. I'm one of those people now. And it is Girl on the Train. It was okay. I don't think I'd read it again, but it, it was okay. I'd like to watch the film and see how they've done it. But yeah, okay, fine. So then the third book that I read this month was Cinder. It was recommended to me ages ago and I read it because it was on the monthly deals in November and it was weird. It was okay. I'm glad I read it, but like, what? The next section of stuff I want to talk about was films. Um, I finally got around to watching Nerve, which I really, really liked. It was a bit weird, but no, stay still. The concept I really, really liked, but just not the ending. That was terrible. And we did start to watch Sausage Party, but it was literally awful. It was just like the worst thing ever. Everyone who ever says anything about it is telling you the truth. It is just an awful film. So yes, back to favourites anyway. My first physical kind of favourite is this sarong. I bought this in Bali. It's very very cute. I love it. Sarongs are great. They're like my favourite thing ever and I've decided that I'm gonna buy one literally everywhere I go now. So I will have a sarong from every country that we visit in Southeast Asia. Also, TV shows. I have two TV shows that I've been watching this month. The first one is Mom, which Gethin has got me into. It's Anna Ferris and Alison Janney. Janie, Janie? I don't know. And it's really funny. It's about a single mum raising kids and being a recovering alcoholic. Kind of a theme of things that I've been doing this month, whatever. And it's just funny, tacky tally. And then my second TV show has been the Gilmore Girls revival, obviously. I just have so many emotions and so many thoughts and so many disappointments, but at the same time, I really enjoyed it. And I just, I don't know, if you want me to make like a kind of video about it, let me know, but the Gilmore Girls. Then moving on to YouTube, I have three um, YouTubers, YouTube things, just channels that I've been really, really loving this month. And the first one is the Philip Franco show. Like it is like, I've been loving it for ages, but especially this month, me and Gethin now watch it together, which I love. And essentially it's this new show where he talks in a very unbiased way and also gives his opinion and he's very funny. And yeah, anyway, the Philip Franco show is great. Moving on from that, there is also a channel called the DeFranco Fam, which is started by his wife, Lindsay, and she vlogs for everyday life as a stay at home mum and all that kind of stuff and it's just she's really funny and her kids really cute and yeah and then number three is Raina Scully she used to work for SourceFed I think um, and she's Japanese and she's just so funny and I would love to be her friend and she just yeah I love her she's recently got her silver play button um, but yeah I'll put links to these somewhere somewhere I can't remember if I included these in my favourites last month because I bought them in Malaysia, but it's these trousers. I remember showing them to you guys, but I don't think they were in a favourites. And I bought two of them. I bought one of these kind of peacocky pair and I bought a black and white pair. Uh, but sadly, the black and white pair have gone missing. So I'm gonna have to buy another pair of frank pants when we get to Bangkok. I love these, they're so comfortable and I understand why everyone wears them and they're just so comfortable I love them so much and I want like a million pairs so travel websites I wanted to talk to you guys about um, I did a video before we left for traveling um, about my favorite travel apps 
I wanted to go into a bit more of my favourites this month, which are two travel websites that I've been absolutely loving. Um, the first one is Travago. I use this to book hotels and things like that uh, for the first or the first two nights of anywhere we stay, and then after that we then go find somewhere local, which is normally a bit cheaper and like a homestay, which is where everyone like treats you like family and it's really weird but very very good and I like it. The second is Skyscanner. It was one of my favourite apps before I left the UK and it is still one of my favourite apps. It is literally how I book every single flight. It's the only way I book flights and it always seems to do the best job at finding the cheapest flight. Like I've tried using Google but Skyscanner just seemed to work for me. Then I wanted to talk to you guys about this bag. Um, I have a day bag, which is my rucksack, but it's a bit much for just going out for like a couple of hours or so. If we're going like on scooters or if we're going on a bus or something, yes, it's a great day bag. But I bought this bag in Bali. It's a Frang bag and it's already falling apart. I bought it maybe three, four weeks ago. and it, no, Three weeks ago, let's say, and it's already the lining is coming through and it's just it's already falling apart so once again another bag I'm gonna have to buy another one but yes these bags are great they are semi disposable I suppose but I wouldn't want to even when I think I stop I'm gonna stop using this bag I might turn the front bit into like I don't know a blanket or something I mean like a patchwork quilt I don't mean like a blanket that's this big and then the one thing that I am very very happy about I can finally be considered a true Brit, I've started to drink tea. I actually like tea now. This is in all caps on my phone with many exclamation marks. I like tea. As long as there's no milk and plenty of sugar. My final physical item is actually this vest. I don't have enough vests, but this one is the cutest vest. It's a, well, it's not real Roxy. I got it off a stall, obviously, but it's tie dyed at the bottom and it's blue and it's really cute and I love Roxy and I wish this stuff was cheaper so I could afford it all the time. And then finally I wanted to talk about events. Generally Indonesia as a whole, we've been here pretty much the whole of November, which is great. We're leaving for Thailand on the 6th of December and then spending however long there. So my December favourite will probably be Thailand. So Indonesia in general and then specifically uh, the snorkeling trip we went on, which I will link to, let's say here. Uh, we went on a snorkeling trip and it's like two videos ago or something and it was really fun and we got to mess about in the ocean and get a little boat ride which is a glass bottom boat which is very very cool and I've now said that I wanted one even though like I don't have a boat I don't have any capacity to drive a boat or put a boat anywhere I don't even have a house so boats that is everything I've been loving this month um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more from me then please do subscribe and as always I will chat with you guys in the comments below let me know what your favourites are this month yeah Stuff. Mm.